Hello and welcome, Mark Brother of UK National Sales Manager for NEC. Within this video, we're doing an introduction to the Michaels Agent Desktop, which is available on the SV9100. Now, the Michaels Agent Desktop is an application that works for the agent within the Michaels Call Center. So it's an application that can enhance the way that the agent uh, works, can provide more um, information for the supervisor and for the business in general. So uh, with that said, let's have a look at what the agent desktop will provide you as a business. So as I mentioned, you can continue to use a handset, no problem at all, but if you want an application to give you more features and functionality that will aid you understanding what's happening within the call center, agent desktop is the application. So we can actually log an agent in and out in various ways. We can empower the agent to log in to particular groups or log out of other groups. Um, you may think that's a dangerous game to play. So when they log in, they will log into predefined groups that have been assigned to them, either by the system um, itself in the system programming or controlled by the supervisor control. So yet again, giving you choice. Unavailable reasons, as you know, if a call comes to an agent and they're sitting behind the desk and they fail to answer the telephone, we make them unavailable. Okay. Now, um, the reason why we do that is what's the point of delivering the next call to the same agent when we know that it's not there. Now, when you pull off a report for a particular agent, you can see that an agent logged in at 9 o'clock at 9.30, went unavailable for no reason, and he didn't come back and log in till 10.30. Within the application, we allow the agents to give unavailable reasons why uh, they are moving away. So it could be going into a meeting, doing emails, um, lunch, etc., etc. That way, you're starting to see a better understanding of what the agent's activity is throughout the day. Call completion codes, you can see the image on the right here. Um, this little box will pop up after the call while in that wrap up, and there's three areas, and you're going to see this in the demonstration that we can uh, allow the agent to put in uh, predefined information um, of what that call was about. So a call come in, I hit the first drop down, I could say this is an SV9100. Next drop down could be an application such as my call call center. Uh, and the third one, what was the outcome? I sent literature. So when a supervisor pulls that information off on a report, we see that Mark took a call at this particular time on this particular date, and it was a about an SV9100, it's about my course course center and literature had been sent. So you start to understand, you know, that the day in the life of an agent, what type of calls are taking and what were the outcomes. So call completion reasons is really, really important. Of course, we can see other agents activity. So if we're working as a team and we need to distribute uh, calls to other agents, having visibility when people are on the phone or off the phone is very, very important. Um, we do have another application called My Course Desktop that gives us a little bit more functionality that we can embed within the agent desktop that allows us to call, have call control. So we have icons to answer the call, transfer calls, etc. But probably more importantly, if you've got a CRM that you need to screen pop, then you would need My Course Desktop. It also gives you the ability to highlight and dial. So if you are a, a call center that makes a lot of outbound calls and you um, use a CRM, or you use Yelp.com, or you've got Excel spreadsheets with a load of your contacts on, by highlighting and dialing the telephone number, inevitably you're going to enhance the amount of uh, calls that you're actually making per hour per agent per day um, I would say we can actually increase the efficiencies on an agent by about 25 percent and that could be a massive amount of calls that when you're working as a team you could potentially be doubling the amount of calls that you're actually making uh, each day um, within the application as well there are, um, there are several other features that could help you along the way instant messaging yeah again instant messaging with other people that have got the application make speed up a process um, uh, of internal communications as opposed to phoning somebody and leaving them a voicemail because you can still be on the phone a lot of people can multitask now so you can take a call and, and send a message at the same time so instant messaging could be an application that could enhance the way that you're working. Also presence, that allows us to see um, 
actually not only when people are on the phone or off the phone that's pretty basic stuff but if they're going on holiday if they're going to a meeting if they're traveling um it allows us to see and understand what those individuals are doing and yet again there are videos that you can actually view yourself on michael's desktop light and michael's desktop and uh, i'm sure to have a look at those because all we're actually doing is bringing the two applications together if you have an agent that needs to listen to their own recordings if allowed then you are going to need not only the agent desktop but the my course desktop as, as well okay of course uh, pci compliance options if we need to pause the call manually uh, or automatically yet again you can view how we do that in the previous uh, recordings but the agent desktop and the my course desktop are two applications that come together and really empower the agents how they actually work okay with that said let's have a, a demonstration So here we are in the My Calls Agent Desktop. In fact, we've got two applications working as one in this example. The top left-hand side, we've got everything to do with the agent, which we're going to talk to about in some depth shortly. But the right-hand side here, we've got a My Calls Desktop application, which there is a video somewhere. And go off and watch that, and you get all the functionality of the My Calls Desktop, and we can roll it into the agent desktop to give the agent and the business um, more information. Um, so if you want to screen pop a record, you get that functionality from a MyCourse desktop application. If you want highlight and dial, highlighting a telephone number and dialing it, whether it be from a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, Yelp.com, your CRM, MyCourse desktop gives you the ability to highlight and dial. And equally, you have the ability to have instant messaging so the agents can actually IM each other or even the wider audience of the, the business. Um, and hopefully that can help in Jason when he logs in dealing with an inquiry that is outside of the contact center. Okay, so instant messaging, if you don't want it, not a problem at all, we can disable that for you. So my course desktop, good application to roll into the agent desktop. So getting back to the agent desktop side of things, the, the agent desktop does need a handset to work against and you can have predefined buttons on the handset to obviously press to log in and log out and those sort of things but by having an application you're going to get a lot more functionality and i'm going to show you that right now if we use the application to log jason in i can click on here now jason has the um the ability to log in to all the queues or 01 being the sales and 02 being the support. Now, if you don't want your agents to have that uh, feature or functionality or flexibility, then that's not a problem to us. The supervisor can determine what cues Jason's going to be answering, or they could be preset into the telephone system. So when Jason just logs in, he gets those cues delivered to him and he doesn't have the choice, okay, either to log in or even log out but i'm going to log jason into all primary queues okay it asked him what jason's extension number is it's 220 this afternoon he may want to sit somewhere else so he can obviously enjoy being an agent sitting wherever he wants because we ask what extension number is actually assigned to and all the reporting and all the functionality will follow follow him okay you can see now that the logout features become live so yet again the same applies here we can say to jason what queues do you want to log out of and he can do that if he wants to log out of all queues not a problem he could do that as well okay but don't forget that can be pre-programmed we can disable that if you wanted to do that or give the supervisor the authority to make those changes and i'll show you that shortly as well so what we're going to do we're going to bring a call into jason and i'm using my mobile here and you can see that the calls come in and let's answer it by using the my course desktop so <clears throat> we can see he's on an incoming call and it has been for three four seconds that's my cli number my telephone number i am in the database somewhere because it's <laughs> that telephone number is associated with my name if i wanted screen popping whether it be outlaw gold mine or anything like that i've got my course desktop i could have it screen popping if i so wished Okay, um, so you can see Jason is on the call and has been for 25 seconds. Now I'm gonna hang up the call and several things are gonna happen. So if I just hang up the call and hopefully move the mouse very quickly, 
there we go you can see that jason's in a period of wrap up here so this is a period of time jason's recomposing himself or in entering information into the crm you can see 10 seconds as elapsed is now available to take a call however the information i'm putting into the crm is quite lengthy so I've extended that wrap up and it'll extend it for another 10 seconds. So when that's elapsed, it will make me available again to take a call. Now, the next important thing that happened when I put that phone down, and this is extremely popular and very, very useful. It's presented Jason with what we call a call completion code. OK, tell me what that call was about. In effect, that's what we're asking Jason to do. We can see here the call type, the time of call, um, the telephone number, the queue. But what Jason has the ability to do is to have a whole host of different reasons. And you can have up to 10 reasons what this call was about. So uh, let's say it was a new customer. Yeah. And let's say he was from Glasgow or she was from Glasgow and we he placed an order click on ok now you <clears throat> we would now present this information in a report that would tell you that jason took this call at this particular time um it was a new customer it was from glasgow and he placed an order now having that information and report gives you a lot more understanding the type of calls and the actions of the agent throughout that process in effect so you start to learn more about the customer trends what they're phoning in for what the requirement i mean if they keep phoning in for maybe um literature maybe jason's the wrong person to send that call to yeah you may want to send that call to another agent or another queue maybe yeah again information is power so that call completion is really good now i'm going to bring a call in again but this time we're not going to answer the call so you can see it'll be ringing at jason's extension after a period of time jason doesn't answer it we're going to deliver that call to another agent so now jason is unavailable on the bottom right hand side we've got a management by exception warning so we're not answering the call within five seconds we'll equally get that email as well and the reason why you're seeing that incidentally uh, ladies and gentlemen is because i've got the call manager open at the bottom okay and I'll, the reason uh, i have that is because i want to show you what the supervisor sees shortly so getting back to this point here the call has been presented to jason he hasn't answered it so make them unavailable now the reason why we do that what is the point of bringing the next call into jason when we know he's not there it'd be absolutely pointless okay so jason comes back from let's say getting a cup of coffee and he makes himself available again by clicking on that icon you can see he's available again if a call's come in it will get, get delivered to jason um but what jason should have done when he moved away from the desk was give a reason for moving away so we have the options here for him to select and yet again you can put your options in here he could have gone for a natural break now we can see that jason now is unavailable we now know he's gone for a natural break okay um and this is reflected equally in the supervisor's position let me just bring that up for you and just move this across you can see that Jason's been on a natural break for 17 seconds. Jason comes back, he makes himself available, and yet again, supervisor will see that. The supervisor can equally put, as you may have seen um, in the, um, the My Calls call center video, the supervisor may want to put Jason into an unavailable state, this time in a meeting, okay? So either way, when you start pulling off the reports for Jason, you are now able to see exactly the reason why jason has moved away from his desk um, and not fulfilling what he's get paid to do and he's answering the telephone but now you know the reasons why okay jason comes back out of the meeting he goes into an available state so making the ability for agents to give reasons why they're moving away from the desk is very very important to understand the reasons why Within the application as well, you can see that Jason's got a mini wall board. You can see that uh, he's taken in um, six incoming calls today. He's got four abandoned and he's made no outbound calls. Um, because we've got my calls desktop, let's say he wants to make an outbound call and he wants to use this telephone number here. He could right click and he could dial it. And if my phone is switched on, it's going to ring for you any second now. 
There we go. Let me answer the call. Um, as you can see there, Jameson's on an outgoing call and it has been um, for 11 seconds. The telephone number's there. And guess what happens when the call hangs up? You're going to get a call completion record to complete again. So even on an outbound call, you present this to the agent and they fill in the relevant drop down uh, information for you. And yet again, that is on the report. So, so here we're seeing all the calls that are happening today. Um, we're getting obviously the date, the extension number, obviously it's Jason, it is the telephone number of the person calling, of course it's only me because we're doing this demonstration, it's mobile, and we can see whether it was an, an incoming call uh, um, or a ring no answer, so the call's come in to Jason and he hasn't answered it and it's gone off to another agent when he went to an unavailable state. Um, what Jason can do here, you can see he took an incoming call and he, the duration of the call was 32 seconds. If you right click there, you could add a note. Yeah, and that note could be good call. Now, the reason why the reason why he would want to do that is um, he may want to get the um, supervisor to go off uh, and listen to that call if it's being recorded. Okay. Now you can see he's put a note against this. In this situation, we don't allow Jason to listen to the his own calls. Okay. We can do and if we do allow him those icons will become blue allowing jason to click on that call and listen to how good or how bad that call may well be but in the supervisor's position it could be recorded and of course it's got a note against it here um yeah, again just giving uh, a little bit more information to the supervisor to do some investigation okay and of course you can see calls that have happened this week yesterday etc etc OK, so underneath here, we've got another tab called our on return tab. So any calls that have been abandoned and we haven't called them back or they haven't phoned in would appear here. So Jason can just right click and dial them back if they wanted to. Now, a good part of the My Calls desktop is um, the ability to have action pages. So now we're empowering the agent, Jason, in this example, to see all of his colleagues. Yeah, and yet again, he can point, click and dial if these individuals were on the phone, whether it be an inbound call or an outbound call, internal call, they have that visibility. OK, um, we have some numbers here in pink that are external numbers, so I don't have to go into the directory if I just want to click that number or that button. Um, you see it's gone off hook and it will phone hopefully my mobile. There we go. And we answer it there. Uh, and we hang up and guess what's going to happen we're going to have these call completions again so having numbers that we dial on a regular basis as opposed to going to a directory could be within this action page incidentally you can have 10 action pages you see here i've got two yeah you can have 10 and you can lay them out however you want we may have powerpoints excel spreadsheets word document uh email um buttons there so instead of minimizing the application i can just press on a button probably the, the best one to use is on another tab here i may have taken a call from a caller that says i'm on your website i don't want to minimize or go to my browser i just want to press a button and you can see there it's gone off to the nec website okay so making life a lot easier yeah and of course we spoke about screen popping we have an address book here. So, yeah, again, if you want to screen pop the records in a, within the address book, that is also uh, able to do. And equally, you could right click and you can dial these people as well. OK, so um, that address book can be as many as you want. So just going a uh, quick summary of the application, you can roll in different applications all into one giving you the ability to highlight and dial screen pop and instant messaging. You have the ability to provide, if so wish, the agents to log in and out of different groups and log out of different groups, have the ability to wrap up. You have the ability to get the agent to go unavailable and give reasons for doing so. Yeah, and yet again, going back into an available state. Um, you also have the uh, visibility of your mini wallboard. So yet again, no need to manually write down how many outbound calls that you're taking. The system will do that for you. And just to finish off, if you want to make it smaller, you have the ability to do that. And just by clicking a few things here, 
you can see I've minimized it now and it could sit at the bottom of my screen and I can work it comfortably uh, as I've just demonstrated to you um, in the same way. So I'm bringing a call in and I can use these icons here. Yeah, and then I can hang up and then I'm gonna get the call completion records. So you can have it looking and designed in a way that works for you. So with that said, let's get back and have a summary. So some key takeaways, summaries on the My Calls Agent Desktop. So why consider Agent Desktop? Well, it provides agent visibility functionality will help them as well as the supervisor. So the, yet again, if we got responsible agents, they can log themselves in and out of different groups. If you so wish, they are going to be unavailable. Now they're going to be able to give you a reason why, why that activity happening, which is obviously going to be good for not only for the supervisor, for the business as well to understand. The core completion, what was all that about? You know, what was the call uh, resolution? Why did that person phone? Yet again, with call completion within the agent desktop, you are now able to understand the reasons that caller phoned in and what the outcome was. Empower the agent with instant messages on available reasons and call completion codes, as I've already mentioned. Call recording, the ability to listen uh, to their own calls uh, that have been recorded. Uh, they can add notes if they wish. They can pause a call while taking credit card information, etc. Without shadow of a doubt, better customer service is gained by having screen popping within a CRM. Um, we do off-the-shelf CRM integration, Outlook, Goldmine, Act, etc. If you do have a bespoke database, your NEC representative will be able to do um, set up some screen sharing exercise to make sure that one, we can screen pop the CRM of choice and uh, potentially highlight and dial. So uh, please take uh, the offer up with your NEC uh, account manager or representative and they can make that happen for you. Um, and yet again, you can control over the call queues. So yeah, again, better service, getting the callers answered as quickly as possible um, to the most important people uh, in the business. So here are the takeaways, the summaries. Why consider Agent Desktop? Well, it provides visibility, provides a lot of functionality um, that will help not only the supervisor, but the management. Um, understanding, you know, things like unavailable reasons, yeah, call completion. What was the reason for that call? What was the outcome of that call? Why did I move away from the desk? Was I in a meeting? Was I in a, um, uh, in a lunch period? Take three. So there we go. My calls agent desktop, really, really easy. So some key takeaways and bullet points here just to remind you, uh, why consider agent desktop? Well, it provides visibility. Um, for the agent, it provides more functionality that will help not only the supervisor, for the, uh, but also the business. It will empower the agent to have uh, the ability to have instant messaging, a communication mechanism internally with other people, um, be able to provide you unavailable reasons. So why did we move away from the desk? Was we in a meeting? Were we doing email handling? Um, Call completion codes to understand what the calls that the agents are taking, what the outcomes of those. So when the reports uh, do get uh, published um, to a supervisor or to the management team, you can exactly see and understand that Mark's taken X amount of calls and these were the reasons for those calls. Call recording is obviously very important nowadays. Yet again, it is an option, but if you want to empower the agents um, to listen, um, to, to their own calls, we can do that. Uh, we can incorporate the My Calls desktop to give a screen popping, um, etc. And of course, um, having a better customer service, it may be control over the call queues that you empower the agents to do. So a lot of functionality at the fingertips of the agents. So that just leads me to say, thank you very much for your time. If you do need any further information, uh, please reach out to your NEC um, channel manager or distribution or partner. I'm sure they're only be too willing to help. My name is Mark Rabbit. Have a great day and speak to you very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.